so I started designing. I was working on a wheelchair, a smart econ wheelchair. And the easiest and cheapest way was through a 3D printer. So I checked around. There are, of course, 3D printers for sale. We have high, high quality printers out there, but they are pricey at the same time. So I thought, why not create my own 3D printer that would not only uh, print one item at a go, it could actually print multiple items at the same time. From his hand-assembled computer, he takes us through the process of completing a print, beginning from the design stage that could take only a couple of minutes. You can see all the heads are listed here, four of them, yeah. but I did number three. Next, he preheats the printing bed up to 200 degrees, loads the filament onto the extruders, just a light layer, applies glue stick to the glass bed for a more firm hold, and inserts instructions into the printer using a secure digital card. So I wanted a printer that can mass produce items with the same printing quality and speed. So it has better precision, it has higher speed and repeatability at any one time and we produce the four different items at a, at a go. A job could take between one hour and tens of hours. I want to improve on the current design, but I want more speed and more printing capacity. 3D printing can revolutionize the creation and manufacture of almost anything. It provides an opportunity to leapfrog capital-intensive manufacturing processes with a satisfactory outcome of custom-made products. And for innovators like Mbiria, his work showcases a race for new concepts in the industry to improve efficiency and reliability. Anastasia Waweru. So guys, you see that video? This is things I love. You see, this is where I tell you that African continent is rich with... Um, with skilled people and highly educated people, but the major news and networks um, show Africa as this third world country that's poor, uneducated people, unskilled people. This is what they are. This is what they are portraying. That's why I love my channel to help push people like this out to the world. And so listen to me. Yes, there is already three D printed machines out there. For who gonna say, oh yeah, it's not, it's not, not, it's not, not new. But what is new is he designed it himself. Even his computer he's using, he designed and built his own computer, his own 3D machine. So that shows engineering skills and a highly technical, mechanical work as well he can do. Because to the engineer and mechanical, mechanical work goes together. And he's highly educated to be able to design and build these things. So you cannot say he's uneducated. So this is what I would do as the government. Find this guy. Get him to build bigger machines, the same 3D printing machine, make a, a big one on a more bigger scale. So he can design things for the agricultural field, for the healthcare sector, especially the healthcare sector. Ex sector. He can lessen the value, not lessen the value, is not the correct word. He can, he can cause the government to spend less money on importing products where it can be built and in the country instead of importing it and so let's build a, uh, give him an institute to run. He can hire and teach and other people the same skills he has. Well, not the engineering part, because you have to, what, like, to manage to run and use the 3D printing machine and the, and the system and to create things to lessen the cost on the continent when it come on, comes on to anything at all they can use. Because it's, it's applicable to use on almost anything you can to do 3D printing. It's, it's, it's been done in the West. So I love this. I like this, and I hope he gets funded for the, from this project. But this is a very heartwarming video. This is these are the videos I like to portray and push out to show the the resilience of Af African people and in turn the continent. So we just need to shine a light more, and then man, they stop proving that Africa is this disease-ridden, uncivilized, and uneduc uneducated, unskilled people, which he, Major networks are still pushing up to the up to this day. They are still pushing that narrative. Anyway, thanks for watching. You don't know it's the WSXM podcast as always. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You don't know. Peace. One love. Boom.